Hey everyone, Flair here, and this is my introduction to StreamerBot. Why should you use StreamerBot instead of Nightbot or Streamlabs or Stream Elements or something else? Um, I've used a whole lot of bots. Most of them are awesome. Um, I did a lot of multi-streaming for a little while, and because of that, I needed to set up a different bot for different platforms. So I had bots for specifically for DLive, some for YouTube, some for Facebook, some for Trovo, some for Twitch. Um, so I've experimented with a lot of the bots out there. And when I found StreamerBot, um, and then especially once I decided to go back to Twitch um, full-time and not uh, multi-stream anymore, um, using StreamerBot, I realized I can take everything that all of my other bots do and put it all into StreamerBot. Um, so that was the biggest thing for me, as I could consolidate all of my bots into just one. Um, I still have some silly bots out there like ButtBot. I'm not going to reproduce all of that, but I could in StreamerBot. Um, anyway, the main main reason I use it is to I, you can do everything that the other bots can do plus more. Um, obviously, there are going to be some niche bots out there that do something very specific that you probably could replicate in StreamerBot, but it's likely just easier to keep using that bot and that's totally fine you can it runs alongside all of those other bots just as well um it's free it runs locally on a windows machine um so that's one catch for some people if you're not running on windows then streamer bot really can't help you um the th the thing that i really like about the fact that it runs locally is that you can control everything um you don't rely on a third-party service being up and running for your bot stuff to work. The only thing that needs to be working is Twitch because uh, it connects directly through the Twitch API. Um, and finally, it just it, you have so much control. You can do custom coding. You can control everything. So instead of like tweaking all the various settings for a particular alert, you can build it all yourself. You can make it look exactly how you want. Um, and I will say... StreamerBot is not the most simple thing to use, but once you kind of get used to how things work, it works, and you can control everything, and that's why I love it. It's a power, it's a power user tool for sure, um, and it's my favorite because of that. Um, I'm going to get into a bunch of specific examples in the next minutes here, um, but you can do anything you can with other, other bots. You can set up alerts based on events from Twitch, you can run uh, channel point commands, you can do voice commands, you can um, connect to uh, your stream deck, you can directly control OBS, you can read from a random file 10,000 lines long and pull one random line out um, without having to connect to an API. You can do custom codes to connect to APIs or anything you want. Um, I'm going to go through a bunch of examples pretty quickly and then in future videos I will take a deep dive into a lot of those examples and flesh out exactly how to build some of those features that I've done already and um, as I come up with new things or find other new things out there that I want to reproduce I will make videos about those as well. Okay, I'm going to get into the examples of what you can do with StreamerBot. Um, I will go in f further in depth into some of these in future videos, but I just want to give kind of a, a breadth of examples of what you can do. Um, and some of the things I already have set up on my Twitch I'll use in, as examples right now. The simplest of them are simple chat commands like uh, being able to dis... Oh, I got to type it right. Being able to drop your links when someone types something like socials or discord or um, I have chat commands to shout out a couple of the, the group discords I'm in um, and all of that stuff is spit out by streamer bot um, and then it can get further in depth by adding logic to those commands like you'll see this last one um, it's, a, it's got like a percentage thing and you see people like 
hey, or, you know, they have exclamation stinky, and it says, like, how, how, how stinky are you? And it spits out, you're 24% stinky or whatever. You can do all that stuff in StreamerBot real easily. Um, and just as an example, t this last command that I showed showed what percent worthy are you for the worthy ones discord and it's just as simple as instead of just spitting out a message in your action you first choose a random number and then it uses that random number in the message that it spits out um so you can do simple chat commands very easily um you can have uh fetch something from a url so like this is a this is an API that uh, spits out a dad joke. So if I do exclamation dad joke in my uh, Twitch, it spits out a random dad joke. What did the traffic light say to the car as it passed? Don't look, I'm changing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's that. Those are the very simple chat commands and we'll get into more advanced topics later. All right, here's one more fun example that I put together in about five minutes one day. Um, I stumbled upon this, uh, I play Dungeons and Dragons and I stumbled upon this list of 10,000 different wild magic surges, um, which I'm not gonna get into what that means. But basically this is a tape, this is a, a text file that has 10,000 lines. Each one has a different message. And I was like, that would be really cool if I could use those as uh, a channel command or a, uh, you know, just a chat command. And so I did. So if you go into my Twitch and you type exclamation point wild, you will get one of those messages randomly. Wild magic search. The ground within 50 yards is permanently swampy and waterlogged. That was number 9880 in that list. Um, and that's something that you can set up in minutes with StreamerBot. If I take a look at the actual code there, um, and we can get into an example of this in more depth if, it, if anybody wants. Um, but this one is Wild Magic. It's, I think I called it Chaos. Yeah, so it just says read a random line from that file and then pop up, send a message to Twitch with some extra stuff, and then that random line. Done. That's it. Very, very, very simple. One of the other fun things you can do with StreamerBot is uh, tie actions to channel point redemptions or other Twitch events like new followers, new subs, cheers, hype train, anything you want really. Um, so I have a few channel points I wanted to show off. I have already created a separate video on how to do this, but I just wanted to, and as an example of what you can do with StreamerBot, here are a few of my channel point redemption things. There's a dice roll that has a custom animation and chat messages um, and some logic to say a different message based on what you have. Um, things like just playing a sound effect or um, showing a picture and playing a sound effect or um, I don't know if this one's going to work on my scene, or even more complicated things like uh, playing with the camera filters or connecting to Snapchat. There we go. Connecting to Snap filters. Got my glasses on. Anyway, you can do all kinds of stuff, and you can tie them to channel redemptions. Any action you can build in Streamer Bot, you can tie to a channel redemption, um, any Twitch event you want. Um, you can also tie them to... Uh, like uh, Stream Deck buttons, or things like that, or hotkeys, or voice commands. Uh, and that's all really cool. One of the other things I wanted to show off is twofold. Um, you can tie StreamerBot to a uh, Stream Deck. Uh, I don't have an actual deck, I'm using just my phone and the app, but you can tie StreamerBot to a Stream Deck and you can also have it manipulate OBS directly. You can have it change your scenes, you can have it, um, you know, it has access to the OBS API, so you can even do like raw API stuff. Um, but I just thought I would want to show you, you can use those two things together to make your Stream Deck do really cool stuff. Um, 
So, I mean, just, I have just some really basic stuff. I can turn off and on my camera. I can turn off and on chat stuff. I can switch to like my live scene. Uh, go back to my just chatting, you know, just basic stream deck stuff, but StreamerBot supports all of those transitions and you don't have to build it directly inside of your stream deck software. Um, you know, I can do my like soundboard stuff and it's great. Uh, anyway, I thank you for watching this video. I really, really recommend StreamerBot. It's uh, the best thing I've found so far on Twitch. Um, and I'm slowly moving all of my other stuff out of other bots and into streamer bot and I'll continue making videos as I learn to share that knowledge with you guys. Cheers.